More disclosures and reports are coming out of the woodwork as the Senate hearing on Bamban Mayor Alice Guo and her alleged ties to illegal offshore gaming operations drag on. Senator Jingoy Estrada is the latest to chime in on yet another so-called bombshell. He refuses to disclose until the time is ripe as we hear more from our Daniel Manarastas. Senator Jingoy Estrada is pushing for reinforcing the system of filing of delayed registration of birth in the country as he filed Senate Bill Number 2703. Under the bill, any person who makes false statement in their forms will be duly penalized or punished with imprisonment of at least 6 months up to 12 years, plus a fine of no less than 100,000 pesos but not in excess of a quarter of a million or 250,000 pesos. The bill came in light of the ongoing Senate hearing on illegal pogos that later on led to the identity of Bamban Mayor Alice Guo as the senators expressed doubts on her birth certificate. Paano mo mapapaliwanag na yung date ng kasal ng magulang mo na iba-iba dito sa tatlong birth certificates ninyong tatlong magkakapatid na kinonfirm ni tatay mo na sina Sheila at si Yemen Leal Guo ay mga kapatid nyo pero sa mga birth certificates ninyo iba-iba ang petsa ng kasal nila. Your Honor, as much as possible, ayaw ko na pong sumagot ng hindi ko po alam. Pero hindi ko po talaga alam at hindi po ako yung nag-prepare po nung birth certificate ko po. Estrada, meanwhile, insists he has reliable source who claims Mayor Go has a partner. I just received a very, very re reliable information mm -hmm. that her partner is a uh, public official. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, Mayor ng... Uh, sa malit na bayan sa Pangasinan. Mm -hmm. And uh, according to my bubu bubuit, <laughs> eh, siya yung nagpapatakbo ng uh, POG operations ng, uh, ni, owned, by, owned by, or yeah, owned by allegedly kay Mayor Alice Gold. It sounds alarming for me. Uh, well, all I can say is to call on all local officials to, to refrain Mm -hmm. from involving, involving themselves in the POGO operations. Estrada also expressed concern of possibility this issue is linked or tied up to the upcoming midterm elections next year. Yung mga iba nga, drug money ginagamit sa, sa eleksyon. Yung gambling money ginagamit din sa eleksyon. E baka susunod yung POGO money na gagamitin sa eleksyon. That is also a possibility. The Senate is scheduled to conduct an executive session tomorrow on the issues hounding the mayor. Daniel Manalastas from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippines.